Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. You did it. You're back. We're back. You're right. back. We're back. So, um, hello. Uh, I guess we're like pretty close to some ruins, so we may as well like head to that. But, um, yeah, it's like either ruins or salt. Uh, which ruins did you have in mind? So you see the buildings that are like southwest of you? Like the ones that are closest? These? Yeah, those are the ones. Mm -hmm. Head straight to that. And you're just going to go in. He's, he found some ruins in some ruins. Not very common. Something chirps to the no northeast or northwest, I mean. I thought you said west. So we have uh, turrets. So yeah, ruins, they have a lot of stuff in them. We've already got a chair. There's a... Oh, okay. So there's our first laser turret. That's already some good stuff. Uh, it'll probably have a nuclear cell. We got four solar cells. So already that's like seven times four, which uh, I, I know what that is. 28. Traipsing mortar. Um, you're better off charging them. Yeah, they have they have missiles. They disappeared. He he walked northwest, past the trees. There he is. You're better off taking on a traipsing mortar in melee. Did he disappear or did you defeat him? I don't know. Oh, you defeated it because those that's what those missiles are for, left over from. I feel like he didn't get any XP for killing that traipsing mortar. But yeah, traipsing mortars can do some nasty damage. Oh, well, that uh, ape is taking care of that moth for you, which is nice. Pound's chest. They have nothing. Ooh. Live and drink, my dude. Ooh, ooh. There's... We found our stairs. We have a statue. Ooh, okay. You just picked up like 150 drams of water. Not I'm sure. Too heavy. You're too heavy, yeah. Um, We might be at the point where we'd want to set um, fresh water not to auto collect because like you're finding things that are more valuable than water in some ways. Um... Almost. What's in our artifacts? Uh, let's try, let's get rid of those strange plants. You can just drop them. They're not they're not very good as as a means. They don't sell for very much. They're useful if you don't have basically explosive grenades, but we do. We can move, but we're still very heavy. Yeah. That's not a great way to start a ruin. It's just like filling up your inventory with fresh water. Um, I mean, we've got a bunch of rifles and stuff we didn't get rid of. Yeah. Um, do you want to have a go with the sniper rifle? See if you like it. I know it's maybe it doesn't seem very relevant, but uh, I'm just wondering if, if you like it more it might be worth um, like throwing our scoped carbide into the well. Uh, you could disassemble those as Akari rifles. I know that we want to give those to the Mechanimus, but like we can probably find something better for them that doesn't weigh 30 pounds. So um, something you're probably not going to... Huh? one bullet that's right you're you're you might you it might feel like a downgrade at first it only shoots one bullet and it has to reload after every shot but um 
you'd be hard pressed to find a more accurate gun. And I'm pretty sure it's just a normal sniper rifle right now. I think we can actually modify it with scoped. We, we can add scopes to it. Yeah. I did look at that. Nice. Perfect. So, um... Hello. 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 Nothing. Uh, masterwork is also a modification that we can add later. Um, but yeah, the, the sniper rifle is one of my favorite guns. It's got great pen. It's, um, it, it lands like more times than not. And especially if you've got the like Mark, oh, there we go. Taco Suprema. That's fantastic. Mm. Love, love that we found that on our first floor. This is a great ruin so far. Picked up a chair. You did pick up a chair. Fight some more laser turrets. So, uh, I, I don't know. Did I tell you I've, I've been running, um, like a long sword build. Uh, no. we, we can charge that maybe from here. Where is your charge? Oh, there it is. Wow, that charge is just absurdly good. I love that. Yeah, um, one of the like cool things you can do with long arms is, is uh, use them to like disarm people. And it works on turrets. And when you disarm a turret, it's just a standing nothing. Um, and it's a great way of collecting extra weapons and tinkering bits in the ruins because you can just like rip off guns off of every turret. And then uh, there's just like freebie cells, freebie bits. It's, it's, it's great. Ooh, there's some acid. Probably our character will automatically collect some of that. I don't know if they already did. Got some quillipedes. Uh-oh. There's our first humor. So let's let's give the sniper rifle a good go. I might recommend like mark it and then instead of using the surefire, just keep it marked and keep firing on it. Look at the, you killed it on the first shot. Mm, I lost sight of it. It could have moved. No, you got the XP. 212. Okay. Yeah. I, I am like, honestly, super envious of that. <laughs> I, I hate humor so much. Uh. You gotta watch out. They they're really nasty because they can change uh, their element on the fly. Floating glow sphere. Oh yeah, and there's a dagger. Good stuff. If they uh, if a humor turns electrical, then they can basically discharge and and soak you for like most of your health bar in one go. We can go down. Um, honestly, we almost got enough stuff to, like, head to the stilt now, but may as well uh, load up with some goodies. So one of the reasons I recommend checking out the ruin tiles over actual ruins is because there's always a guaranteed staircase down. Okay. Oh, it hit it. It just didn't pen. You critically hit it. I think you missed it that time. Yeah, I mean, snails have pretty high AV. So they're going to be a bit tougher. Aquilipede's helping you, though. <laughs> you, 
You know, you, you actually did a... Oh, now you're now you're not friends with the Coolipede anymore. Yeah, no, I wasn't before because the electricity hit him. <laughs> yeah. You should be able to take them out pretty easily, though. Not all mad at me, are they? They might be, yeah. Just on this tile, mm. though. Not, like, forever. Ugh. Wow. Our Quillipede was really taking shots. Yeah, that one doesn't see it. Hey, you know, it, they, they're, I guess they're only an upset if they see it happen. They see you shooting a, a, a fellow Quillipede. Then they, they're, they're good. Oh, the sap is a problem. Actually, I'm not sure what happens when you... Did you actually kick it away? Uh, I'm trying no. to, I'm trying I did, to... I kicked it. Oh yeah, huh, that's the first time we've done that. I, I think it's the first time I've ever even seen it happen. I don't know what happens when you hit a juice sap with electrical damage. Ooh, that's a tart beard. Tart beards are a little spicy. You should be fine though. They, uh, they have a corrosive breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. It will, it will do some damage if you stay in it, but you should be okay. If anything, it'll help, uh, make this area a little bit more open. It'll get rid of some of those trees. What, where you did, dead? where did they go? No, it's for sure alive. I don't know where it went, though. Huh. There he is. Oh, yeah. Rude. Uh, he's got stinky breath. Nice. You're hitting it. You hit it again. Um. I mean, you can... He's got a cooldown on that breath. You can, you can just start whacking him. He's stunned. You're good. This is one of, like, I love the cudgel build so much because, like, stun locking people is just too good. So, so nice. We could probably hit that bat from here. I gotta say, I find the constant reloading very annoying. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, if you want to switch back to the carbide, I, I won't. I will not judge you. Is there like a mod I can get to add more bullets? No. Hmm. It it is. Uh, it does seem like a um a missed opportunity. I feel like there could be a mod that's just like add more bullets to the clip. Seems like an obvious one, but you know, they, it may be, it may be added in the future. Who knows? That's a lot of, oh, there was an, there's ogre stuff here. Ogre stuff is heavy. Um, tell you what, let's go into our tinkering screen. We can, we can, uh, cons consolidate a little bit. Make some Hulk honey injectors. You just got some hearts. Yep. Oh, did you only get the one? Okay, so uh, what's uh what what's taking up so much room right now is um ogre fur pelts are really heavy, but they are also amazing trade goods. Like you know, debatable and but like they're they're really good. Um they sell for a lot. It's going to be in trade goods. We can we can see if it's worth keeping them. Yeah, we've got three already. So you can see they're ten pounds each. Um 
I'd honestly recommend, I know this is going to sound weird, but I, I might recommend we drop a water skin of fresh water. Yeah. What if I... Hmm. What's up? A, a full one? Yeah, because the thing that we can come back and get it, like we know where we are. And the ogre pelts are actually val more valuable than, like, all, all 64 drams. Like, they just are. Uh, and you're going to save 16 pounds. So that's enough to carry another ogre ape pelt. And then we could, like, um, recoil out to, like, say, Jopa and buy some stuff from Argive. Yeah, you're gonna there's a lot here and it is good stuff but it's gonna be annoying to kind of go through it all if you well, want why don't we recoil now yeah that's not a bad idea i will say uh if you want to switch back to the scoped carbine i think the sniper rifle is worth quite a lot to the mechanists it would be a, a not bad uh, trade. I didn't mean to go here, did I? No, yeah, you probably wanted to go to Jopa. Well, there's solar now, right? Yep. It's drained now, but it will recharge over time. Oh, that's really annoying. You know why that is? That is? It's because you fought some saps, and they sapped the Jopa recoiler just exactly enough that the the cell wasn't charged enough solar cells are, are nice and all but they don't carry a very large charge um you we'll sell stuff here right you can yeah there's uh, there is quite a few tinkerers here yeah why don't we do that actually um you're gonna want to drop like one ogre pelt just so you can move or like i don't know drop anything really you can drop the scoped carbine, pick it up on your way out. All right. So uh, I really need to make a note just for myself of which of the Barathermites are tinkerers. Um, but in the meantime, we might as well just kind of go through them. Uh, I know Q Girl tends to sell like some jewels. We'll have like some trade goods. So if we want to just like get rid of some stuff we can sell to her yeah she she always has some gemstones she also has a cybernetics credit wedge and it's actually pretty cheap that's a pretty good price for those We'll want to get rid of um, our floating glow sphere. Yeah, look at those uh, eight pelts. 168 each. Each. Mundo money. Uh, okay. So we we just trade for Whoop. those. Uh, oops. Hello. Hello again. I seem to have been uh, kicked out of a, a trade screen. And we have more ogre ape hearts as well. So we can make some more Hulk honey. Let's try again. Let's do this again. Uh... Now we just buy all her gemstones. And I do mean all of them because we want to get rid of our water as well. Boop. And boop. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Get that wedge as well. Yeah. We want to become... Okay, good. Yep. That's that's great. We just uh, dumped a bunch of weight and we have some trade goods. Some good ones. 
Okay, okay. Uh, we can see if any of the other bears have uh, some schematics we might want. Pretend, sir. Uh... Yeah. I won't lie, you got very lucky on those first two couple of floors of ruin diving. Like, that's, that's the 100% why we go there and you found technology worthy of giving to the mechanimus and you found trade goods and you found water like you just like checked all the boxes on two floors of that ruin okay there hortensa is a liquid trader um can we ask uh get him to tell you what those tiny trinkets are Actually, we, we've seen Fix-It Spray Foam, so we know that those aren't Fix-It Spray Foam, right? Yes. Okay. Um, have a look at that engraved Umber Frock. Perfect. All right, we're good. Yeah, he's, he, we're, good. We're, we're, we're good with this. This is not what we want. Liquid trader. You're making notes. You're doing what I have always, I always should have done and never did. Except Jacobo. Jacobo. I'm already there. You're already there. What does Jacobo have? Wake up, my dude. Wake up. He's a scam seller. Oh, you know what? Drum loaded might be what you want. I, I kind of forgot about drum loaded. Holds 20% more additional ammo. There you go. I am completely, I was just completely wrong. I want one. You do want one, yep. yeah. They're also selling a linear cannon. Uh, I like mirror shades. But those are expensive. You don't. You can like find them, make them for way cheaper than that. Linear cannon, I believe, is a rifle. Um, it's Tinker Three, though. So yeah, uh, we're good. I don't think you want any of that. Like, there's some good stuff here, but uh, what is fitted with something? That fitted with cleats? Yeah. Okay. Cleats. Never mind. Sometimes it's fitted with um, filters, and that that's different and better. Yeah, let's just give up our money, our water. All right. So then we're good. Jacobo. For... Jacobo is... He is... A seller... Of... Data? Scams? Scams. Schema. 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 Yeah, he's a schemer. Who's that other bear? Oh, we didn't learn the spiral bore. Is that Tinker oh. 2? It's... I think it probably is Tinker 2. And that's why we haven't learned it yet. We need to be one smarter. We need to be one smart. More, one more smart. So who's that? Who's the last bear? Sparafusal. 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 I got. <laughs> Where you leave the data disc on the table? He's selling a data disc for a nuclear cell. Eh. Do I already know how to make that? Uh. I don't know, actually. You have sure. a nuclear cell. No. It might have been that we did that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why we that didn't work out. Do, I, do I have any banana? You do. It, it, it's it's not something you have to worry about too much right now, because like. It takes a bit that you don't even have 
a lot of, if any. But anyway, um, this stuff is not the like, laming. The hover sled's kind of nice. You could make a hover sled if it's Tinker One. Is it Tinker One or Two? Tinker Two. Never mind. Like you could buy it. Um, it's it's interesting. I mean, you have night vision, which is the only reason I'm even like recommending it. It's a uh, it's an item that takes up your floating spot and it gives you more inventory space. So, mm. it is useful. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I think we're good here. Oh, if you want more ammo, you can um, talk to um, Mafio. Mafio has like 2,000 bullets. He's like the one seller that I end up talking to the most. And so therefore, no, uh, he's like a general shop. I got. <laughs> like the idea you're just like going around shaking every bear. Get up. I need to buy things from you. The people Want deserve things. to shop. All right. You also have some HE missiles. We should probably I could, disassemble I could those. get the defoliant grenade back and then... Learn how to make. make it. Yeah. It did come up. There, it's come up a couple times, actually. Yeah, I'll buy one. Yeah. Epic. We'll learn how to make it. It'll be good. Cool. Um, you making notes? Mafio, <laughs> bullet man. Bullets. All right. Can you do anything else here? I know we didn't mean to come here, really. But... Oh, no, there's there's still more scam sellers. Oh. I know there's, uh, I don't know which ones, is, you know, still. Neek and Otho, we haven't talked to. Just here, Neek. Your hair is so rectangular. He's like Guile. And he's got phase silk and salt hopper chip. And a gold pig farmer figurine. <laughs> he sure does. He's also got some primordial soup, which is kind of interesting. Freeze grenade. Do we have freeze grenades? Nope. Spray bottle. Dart gun. Interesting. This is a weird one. I don't even know how to categorize Neek's wares. I I think I would just like write him off. I, I might buy the freeze grenade so we can learn how to make them. Freeze grenades are great. One, please. One freeze grenade. Well, we shed all of our water. This is good. Now sure we, did. Now we definitely need to get some water. Whoopsie. We can sell our plastic for bonnet. Oh, right, you know what? The flexi weave vest is like the perfect amount of water for us. 75 drams. That's like a, that's the perfect amount to carry all right so there's still otho i think we could also insert our um 
cybernetics credits in the becoming nook but we don't really have anything to offer so all oh, right Otho's the, the quest giver so he's not gonna have any really good stuff i mean you can check i, I don't know i can't remember what he's got Oh, you are water bonded with him. But I could be more water bonded with him. I I, get, I think that is actually true because you took customs and folklore, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that worth it? Yeah. You you gain like twenty five reputation for free. Yeah. See. Go. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I want to learn your forage. Let's see what he what he has for trade. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Shotgun shell. Otho. Quest boy. Quest bear. Quest bear. Uh, so there's a. I know there's one more, but I can't remember what their name is. But they're the uh, the chef. Uh, might be spare fusile, but I feel like you're. Oh no, Darty. It's Darty. Pretty sure it's Darty. Yeah, he's the chef. He might have some good stuff, but not like technology. He's got some mirror dust. Oh, he's got salt. Go ahead and buy that salt. It's stupid, but it means we, we finally have salt. What does the mirror dust do for us? Uh, it, I believe it offers um, uh, effects in recipes which potentially reflect light-based attacks. Um, that makes sense. We've already got a shiny hand. We do have shiny hands, but it, uh, since we have shiny hands, it might actually improve the chance of reflecting stuff. I know it's it's mm -hmm. not very appealing to take buy one special ingredient because then if you make a recipe, you're going to have to find more of that ingredient. But, um, you know, for experimentation purposes, if you're looking for something to cook, it might be fun to experiment, but... Oh yeah, we have a lot of solar cells we can throw in the well. We might actually be good to head to the stilt after this. Because we've got, I think we've got enough rep or uh, uh, tech to to be on like genuinely good terms. All right. So why don't we leave on foot? Because we're actually closer to the stilt now than, than not. We go up. We go up. And up again. And up a third time. And then we are up. All right. Back to the stilt. We go, we go. You notice some ruins. Hmm. We go, we go. Another 19th shush. shush. Good lord, there's a lot of shush. Hello. Look at all those snap jaws. Oh, golly. Do you want to switch back to your carbide? Hold on. Hold on. Can I tinker when there's things nearby? Uh, They're not close enough, I don't think. I think that's attached to me. It, it don't it won't matter if you're holding it oh yeah sniper rifle is. drum loaded it doesn't even cost that much and we can add scoped i don't i can't add scoped i don't have any pristine electronics i'm sure we have something that would give us that might check our artifacts I swear we have something. You could disassemble your bioscanning bracelet. Um, but I'm just trying to think if there's something better. Maybe one of our data, uh, not data disks, sorry, energy cells might be worth disassembling. 
I know we must have something. Nope. Nope. I have a scanning uh, bracelet. It is okay. It's it's not a very great item. It might be worth giving to the mechanimus, but like right now, um, it wouldn't be bad adding scoped to sniper. Yeah, let's assemble it. Uh, I feel like you passed it. Oh no, there it is. Nope. Scoped. It can hold two bullets. That is 20% more, I guess. Is it 20? I feel like that's 100% more. Uh, it rounded up very generously. I still... I mean, I mean this is great. <laughs> Where'd they go? They, they left. Come back. Come back, I want to shoot you with my sniper rifle. Oh, he had a stun rod. That's worth disassembling. That guy's different. Yeah, he's a warlord. Or warrior, I guess. Good stuff, good stuff. I mean, uh, these guys are really chump easy. Barely worth spending the bullets, but... Uh, it's fun to try out the sniper. I don't know. I I like the sniper a lot, but I I understand it is kind of annoying. If there was a better mod or a different mod that offered more clip size. I, I will say I don't think I've ever actually modified it with drum loaded, so you, you are making use of Cud's mechanics. Maybe more so than myself. All right, well. This is a very boring a, shush. There's no books here. Yeah, that's true, right? How can you call it shush if there's no books? Well, all right. We're good. Go up. Stilt. We go down. Downtown. To the hole. <laughs> uh, all right let's have a look um well we can give up pretty much all of our solar cells the slip ring is worth 10. up to Seven, you eight, I, do I it yeah i mean let's see how much we have after giving up the other stuff because the only, like, I don't think the slip ring is good, but I think that the bit is good. Oh, we could give up our HE missiles. Those are worth it. The metal folding shell for one is actually quite nice. Uh, yeah, we'll do this solar cell. The scoped carbide is worth 26, but I'm not suggesting that. Um, you could do the stun rod, but we should pull out the cell first because the cell will be worth something itself. Now, the annoying thing is it's only showing one solar cell despite the fact that we've got many. So we're going to have to mm. do this multiple times. We could do the lead acid cell. I know you might say, well, we could learn how to make it. It's really not worth it. Um... Like, the, there's arguments for the combustion cell. The lead acid cell is kind of a pain in the butt. It's not really great. Very, very good. Uh, maybe throw the used chem cell. Wait, what happened? What happened to what? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought we were, I, I, I thought we were throwing down the stun rod, but I, I forgot that I told you not to because it's got the chem cell inside. I thought I got reset. Okay. <laughs> it's a long road to travel. You want to take the chem cell out of the stun rod. Just because uh, I don't think it's smart enough to give you the reputation for both. So you may as well give them individually. And then you'll get more reputation. Uh, 
Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it either. Does it only count when it has a cell? Maybe? Go down? I'm not seeing the solar cells either. What is happening? It feels like we're not scrolling. Yeah. There we okay, go. Okay, there. Yeah. There we go. Stunrod, solar cell. Um, maybe keep the full one. Yeah. I feel like we're just going to have to do this a few times to get rid of all the solar cells. We're getting close. I feel like once you give up all the solar cells, we'll be good. Wasn't there something else? Where we, I think we... Do you want to, like, keep both the scoped carbide and the sniper? And, like, use them utility? Or would you would you prefer to, like, make a decision? Like, choose between the two? And throw one down the well? I don't know. Um... My issue with sniper rifle is if we come into a big room full of brain boys again, my ability to shoot a bunch of them without reloading is super useful. It's true, but sniper rifle has a better chance of hitting it on the first try. Um, hmm. like, there's arguments for both. I'm not, I'm not saying one is better. Um, I definitely have a, pro oh yeah, we can give up the HE missiles as well. I keep forgetting to point that out. And the solar cell and we're good. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough choice. I will say, um, with either one either way uh either one you pick there will be better weapons later um they're a little bit later game for sure but um like you're not stuck with one forever i would say that at this point though we should probably get rid of the uh yeah my sama will climb yeah it's fine let's well, do another worth much 13. HE missile. No, Wally is not worth much. No. But it's also not very useful. <laughs> Fine. HE missile. I know. I know, game. <laughs> it is important. There we go. It's green. We're we're on good terms. We are friends to the mechanimists. We are welcome in their holy places. Not that I don't believe you. You are welcome we are. in their holy places. All right. All right. Thanks, Wally. So, and I'd say we're pretty uh, leveled up enough maybe to check, take on Bethesda Sousa. That's going to be fun. So we'll, uh, Tune in next time. Yeah. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more of this. Get more. <laughs> Comment. Tell me you miss Wally and that I've made a huge mistake getting rid of Wally. Yeah. And everything Wally did. Everything that Wally did. What was it again? I feel like it was going to be cool when I was smashing through walls, but I don't. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I gave up on that dream when you made me get rid of my jackhammer. Yeah. That I've had since birth. <laughs> You've had since birth. That's true. Oh, well. All right. Tune in next oh, time. Oh, well. Bye.